Now, 20 and a half minutes before 10 on the KNX clock, the time, 20 and a half before 10. We promised 13 different people this morning we would ask you this question about uh, a Twilight Zone that was on about a month or so ago. It was concerning fallout shelters. Now, on this, you must have had quite a bit of reaction. We had 1,300 letters and cards inside of two days. Uh, I think we hit some kind of a nerve. It was a show called The Shelter about a doctor who had the only guy in the neighborhood who had the presence of mind and the foresight to build a shelter. Yeah. And uh, when there's a yellow alert sounding, why well, he runs into the shelter with his wife and child and all the neighbors are left high and dry and they turn into animals. And uh, I used this show, I wrote it because I felt, number one, it had great immediacy. Uh, we've been talking at home, my wife and me, about the possibility of building a shelter. Yeah. And uh, we were struck with the moral and ethical problem of what would happen if you know, there were an alert sounding. Yeah. We got into our shelter happily because we'd built one, and neighbors with children came to the door and said, please let us in. Well, that was the problem. I, I can't answer it, and I don't know what is the ethical rightness and justice of this. I, I haven't figured it out yet. It, it is a very controversial thing because uh, uh, they, I saw a panel discussion just about a week or so ago on this, and they had uh, some learned men on the panel, one gentleman with civil defense, another who was in the clergy, Catholic uh, priest, a Jesuit priest, and uh, they all had different opinions. One gentleman said in particular, until the government starts building them themselves, uh, public shelters, I can't see where there's this immediacy is here. The, you know, why should I go out and spend two or three thousand dollars to build one if the government isn't bothering? This was his feeling. Mm -hmm. So I can imagine when I saw your show that night, which was this problem in its, uh, in its most dramatic uh, terms. Here was a family in their shelter, as you said, and here were the neighbors. What do you do? You carry a gun with you, shoot them off, or what do you do? And your show finally ended, uh, how did it, it ended now with, uh, it, it was a false alarm. It was a yellow alert, which turned out to be nothing. But uh, I think the essence of our philosophical comment at the end was that for the human race uh, to survive, it has to remain civilized. Now, was that the ending that you wanted to take, or did you want it to leave it a little bit stronger? Than no, because I'm not one of those, quote, knowledgeable men, Bob. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I was up in the air about it, morally and ethically. I didn't know how to end that thing. I, I didn't know what position, uh, philosophically, I could take. Are you yourself building a shelter? No, we're not now. Were you? I, for a while, we, we thought very seriously of it. Yeah, we, we did. Yeah. And now we've decided that... Uh, no, we're not going to build it. Why? Uh, well, for very realistic, you know, stringently realistic reasons, that it's my feeling now that if we survive, what do we survive for? Uh, what kind of a world do we go into? You know, if it's rubble and poison water and unedible food, and my kids have to live like wild beasts, I'm not particularly sure I want to survive in that kind of a world. This is the, uh, the happy, this is the happy show, Bob, <laughs> and, uh... Well, Yuck it up again, Bob. No, but the reason I'm asking, this week happens to be the Bill of Rights week, doesn't it? It does indeed, yeah. And, and uh, this is uh, what we're all fighting for, supposedly, and which is a serious subject in itself. You can't joke around about the Bill of Rights. And, uh, no, I just wanted to get your, uh, your own opinion. What, what do you think of the Bill of Rights? Well, I'm delighted. Uh, <laughs> you think wonderful, they, you wonderful, think having this, wonderful having this chat, Bob, and uh, <laughs> no, I'm glad you asked me that.